Okay. I have been a Laker fan for as long as I've known what basketball is. So almost the entirety of Kobe Bryant's career. And I am quite sure that the Lakers made a disastrous pick in this last year's draft, choosing D'Angelo Russell over a center, Jaleel Okafor. So the Lakers have a long history of centers with all their championship teams. They won five with George uh, Mikan, they won one with Will Chamberlain, they won uh, five with Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, three with Shaq, and they even won two with Andrew Bynum, who was the last center they drafted when they needed a center. In this case, they didn't have a center, they didn't even have a starting center, and they chose instead a point guard when they had already a young point guard by the name of Jordan Clarkson. In 2010, the Lakers defeated the Boston Celtics in seven games of the NBA Finals with the help of Andrew Bynum, a team that they previously had lost to in 2008 when Andrew Bynum was injured. I was fortunate enough to be at Game 7. That was pretty awesome. So it already is affecting the Lakers in their free agency acquisitions. LaMarcus Aldridge is a power forward and he was interested in joining the Los Angeles Lakers. But the LA Times reported that even after two meetings with the Lakers, he was unimpressed because they had one glaring issue, which was their lack of an effective center. Because they had not chosen a center in the draft, which was the number two pick. <laughs> ESPN Analytics gave D'Angelo Russell, the, the player they chose, a 15% chance at being a superstar in the league. But he also had a 40% chance of being a bust. And I don't know, if you use your own you know, logic, 40% is a lot higher than 15%. The <laughs> Lakers took a huge gamble. The NBA Summer League is a league that's obviously held in the summer for rookies, incoming rookies that just got drafted, and sophomores. So it's first year and second year players, and D'Angelo Russell participated in this. His stats were not good. As Hoop Habits reported, he shot below 40% from the field, which is bad. 12% from the three-point line, which is really bad. He averaged almost twice the amount of turnovers than he did assists, including five turnovers a game, and that led to an abysmal, brutal player efficiency rating. It's, I really hope I'm wrong, I wish I'm wrong, but wishful thinking doesn't count versus numbers and actual stats. Good luck, Lakers. <laughs>